Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how you will configure your K plus JCAN cable and also your INET ICOM cable. So first you will head to control panel, this is for the K plus JCAN cable by the way. And you will go to device management and I will show my hidden devices because I don't have my cable connected right now but when you have yours connected you will go to ports com and LPT and you will find USB serial port com uh, this will be different probably but you will go to properties and port settings mm, advanced and here you will select your com port number to 1 and this is very important to prevent any future problems you will go to your latency timer and you will select the lowest value mine is 1 and then you press OK and now it is done uh, sometimes after Windows updates you probably need to do this again if you find that some of your INPA properties do not work so double check every time you to have any problems that you have these port settings available and then time for the ENET you will go to your network settings and I have this in Finnish but you will press here and here it shows all your connected networks and I have renamed mine as ENET ICOM but it probably shows local area network and something number behind it and you go to properties after that you select internet protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 and you click the properties and here you will select use the following IP address so it has a static constant address and you will type in 169.254.1.51 then the subnet mask will be automatically typed in but make sure it is 255.255.0.0 and you can leave these alone then you click OK and close now it is done and you have to have your cable plugged in in order it to show here but after you have done this you will never have to change these settings again okay and here you go I hope this helps out bye